So what do most of these mass shooters have in common? For the last two years, the National Institute of Justice has been funding a study looking into this, and KXN's Tom Miller spoke with the lead researcher today about some of the traits the shooters share. Tom? Robert, there are four overlapping similarities with nearly every shooter studied. Researchers say intervening and changing just one of them could be enough to stop a shooting. What drives a person to kill on a widespread level? The Violence Project wanted to know. It studied 163 mass shootings, specifically those where four more people died. And it all starts with a University of Texas Tower shooting in 1966. What we do have are these common themes that run throughout each and every one of these shootings. The Violence Project founder James Densley says there are four repeating similarities. The first is a troubled or traumatic childhood. We're talking about the suicides of parents. Uh, we're talking about uh, neglect and abuse. Next is reaching a crisis point where they no longer feel like living. Third is studying the actions of other mass shooters and seeking out validation for the way they're feeling. And this can create almost like a radicalization process where people start to believe that a mass shooting is a viable solution. The last piece of the puzzle is accessibility to places, to people, to guns. Densley's yeah, research leads lines. him to believe there is yeah, no one-size-fits-all uh, solution, yeah, but rather addressing uh, each of the four yeah, focuses uh, individually uh, could make a real difference. You can intervene in early childhood. You can intervene in uh, at, at the point of the crisis itself to try and alleviate that crisis. You can intervene in the way in which we spread the message of hate. And we can also do things to uh, prevent vulnerable individuals from getting access to firearms. Densley also says that as a society, we need to do a better job looking out for people who need help, not demonizing them. That means schools and workplaces trained in crisis intervention, suicide awareness, and de-escalation.